Toronto, CTV News, Sudbury. Many low-income people continue to struggle with access to healthy food in the North Bay Town District. And as CTV's Linda Holmes reports, the local Board of Health is calling on the province to investigate the implementation of a basic income guarantee. Trying to stretch your grocery dollar is a challenge with the high price of food. The Cost of Healthy Eating Report 2015 shows that a family of four receiving Ontario Works spends 90% of its monthly income on rent and food. The health unit says while communities often respond to the issue with food banks and soup kitchens, it doesn't solve the root of the problem, which is poverty. The health unit board believes the solution may be the implementation of a basic income guarantee. Which is an income security program that would replace our current social assistance um, uh, program and EI program. So it would be a basic income um, indexed to inflation. Uh, annually that would would basically be at a level um, that would be livable. Reese says it would require a significant financial investment by one or two levels of government, but she says it would be cheaper than what's being spent on health care and related consequences to living in poverty. Things like anxiety and depression in young people and other ailments for adults. For adults we see the onset of more chronic conditions and, and, and they're more likely to have multiple chronic conditions which are more difficult to manage when you're food insecure because you just don't have the money to be buying really nice fresh foods all the time. Statistics show one in eight households in Ontario are food insecure and over 60% of those are households where someone is working. The North Bay Food Bank sees these clients referred to as the working poor. It also believes a basic income guarantee could be a way out of poverty. It gives people options to go back to school and, uh, and do different things because that's a hard part for people who want to get further in their education. They may not have the money and so if, if it's rent or school, well, they're going to pay rent. Critics say for people living below the poverty line, it's just getting harder and harder to get by. Linda Holmes, CTV News, North Bay. Well, the new year comes with setting new